up guys it's your boy jack back with day 16 of quarantine quiet time and if you guys haven't noticed i'm in the same clothes as day 15 because i'm doing this back to back and so that's why i'm in different clothes uh, same clothes so we're in mark what are we in <laughs> mark 6 49 through 50 um but just to get some backstory of what this passage entails um, i'm gonna read 47 through 50 first and so mark 6 47 says when evening came the boat was in the middle of the lake and he was alone on land he saw the disciples stranding at the oars because the wind was against them about the fourth watch of the night he went out to them walking on the lake he was about to pass by them but when they saw him walking on the lake they thought he was a ghost um they cried out because they all saw him and were terrified immediately he spoke to them and said take courage it is i do not be afraid so this verse is obviously talking about or this passage is obviously obviously talking about jesus walking on water and the first time that the disciples saw him um, they immediately thought he was a ghost it says that they were terrified um and me thinking of what what i would do in this situation if i was one of the disciples i would do probably the exact same thing i would think this is this guy is not real i don't know how he is doing these things how is he walking on water uh it is windy uh the the weather conditions do not make sense <laughs> uh so obviously this is the first person ever to to walk on water the, no one else has ever done this uh, Jesus is the only person that has the power to do this. Um, and so, but at the end, ver verse 50, they were, they were terrified, obviously. They, they were confused. They, they didn't know if it was really Jesus. They thought it was a ghost. Um, but in verse 50, it says, take courage. He says, I, it is I, don't be afraid. And so that, that, that phrase, don't be afraid, constitutes uh, it ties in back to day 15 where it talks about um being fearful and what we do when we're afraid and when we're scared of something um uh, day 15 we talked about jesus is our stronghold and how we go to him for refuge um and how he's always there to um keep our hearts heart keep our heart at peace um, and to give us peace whenever we go to him. And so this, I kind of tie back to that. Um, Jesus wants us to have courage when we don't understand things. He tells us to not be afraid when things that we, in this situation, they obviously, it was something, they, they saw something that they, couldn't explain um, something that they didn't think was humanly possible. And so they they were afraid. And I think just that phrase from Jesus, don't be afraid, is really powerful. Um, and it can really be, um, it's it's whenever we're, we're faced with something that we don't understand or we don't, we can't explain, um, because we're we just we're not Jesus. We don't know everything. Um, we don't have the mind um, that He does, um, and so it's it's easy. It's it's hard for us to think. It's hard for us to like, kind of expand our minds and understand things that we that we can't understand as as humans that Jesus can understand. And so that that's the thing that I just think of that it's it's hard, but when Jesus tells us to not be afraid, he means it and that he gives us that power um, to be courageous in these times that we're, we're feeling scared about things in our life that are happening. Um, what, whatever that may be, you guys may be going through things right now um, that you're you're scared of the future or you're scared of just um, a certain experience that is happening to you right now 
Um, I know it's, I'm trying to be vague because um, I know we're all going through something. So I just want you guys to really, um, really capture what this verse is trying to say. Um, it's really explained to us that Jesus is our source of courage. And so whenever we don't think that we can be courageous in a certain situation, um, all we have to do is pray to him. He's our stronghold. He's someone that we can go to and that we can really get what we need, whether that's peace, courage, um, the ability to not be afraid. Um, we can cast those to him and he can take take all those away. He can take away our fear. He can take away um, our anxiety, whatever that may be. So, um, and he can really give us, once again, uh, give us that courage that we need. And um, courage is what the disciples needed in this time that they were battling the wind. They were um, on this boat and they saw Jesus. Um, and so Jesus is telling us to be courageous through whatever hard times that we're going through. Um, and that's really all I got for today. Um, seek Jesus in whatever you do and in all times of the day and uh, all times of the night. Um, that's something that someone once, some wise person once told me. <laughs> um, one of my m mentors just told me that always seek Jesus 24-7, 365. Um, and don't forget what he can do. The, the powers that he can do to take things away and to give things to us. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Um, and uh, hope you guys move on to day 17. Peace.